Hello and welcome back to the devlog series for my 2D survival horror game, Never Forgotten. I apologize for the lack of devlogs as of late. After I had finished and published the demo for Next Fest, I decided to take a two week break from the game. Now that Next Fest has just started and I was getting really bored of not working on the game, I'm back. The plan for this week's devlog is to implement some additions to the combat system, with the goal being to add a bit more depth to it. So without further ado, let me fill you in on the details. Ever since I released the demo for the game, uh, some people have actually gone around to playing it. To my surprise, way more people were interested than I initially thought, and a blog even wrote a bit about the game, which was pretty exciting. They had said some really nice and encouraging things, though they had mentioned that they found the combat a bit dull. Of course, I don't plan on altering the entire combat system because of one piece of feedback, though it got me thinking that I could take steps to improve it. Given the blog wasn't too specific about which aspects of the combat they didn't like, I was left to speculate a little bit. The conclusion I came to was that they had either found the combat too easy and boring, or they just found it to be excessively tedious, despite whether or not it was challenging. On the note of being tedious, I was thinking that perhaps they had reached a hot enemy with no healing items and they were needing to repeat portions of the game every single time they died. This of course would eventually become quite grating. Before releasing the demo, I had spent a bunch of time balancing and rebalancing the combat to ensure that the demo had a smooth difficulty curve. Despite these efforts, it seems that I may have overcorrected in a few areas or just had a few oversights during the process. So after reading the blog, I brainstormed a bunch of ideas as to how I could improve the combat system without drastically overhauling it. I landed on the idea of including meters that affect player stats and are altered by actions in combat. For example, a player will passively gain HP if they don't take damage and don't use healing items. This is designed specifically to help a player who doesn't have any healing items and might be stuck on a fight, to give them a better chance of being able to beat it. The idea for this is also to be a completely hidden mechanic that is never explained to the player. The point being is that all they need to do to interact with this system is to simply play the game, and depending on how they play, the game will aid them if they need help. Anyways, let's get into the planning. Welcome back to the wonderful trailer board, and if you've been here before, you might notice that something is missing. And of course, the excessively long list of Next Fest related additions! Yeah, I'm very thankful that I never have to touch that godforsaken thing ever again. So anyways, I've made a new card containing all the new stuff that I've got to do. The plan is to write out a script that holds all of the appropriate variables for the meters, as well as all the functions for altering them. After that, I plan on calling those functions from where they need to be called, so just where stuff like the useItem function is called. On top of that, I need to make sounds for each meter being completed, and debug UI for each meter so that I can just see how everything is working, though that won't be included in the final game. Anyways, let's get right into the programming portion. Hello, and welcome back to the game project. I have not touched this in 19 days, so it's been quite a while. And the um, only thing we're going to be making adjustments to is the battle scene itself, which is its own separate prefab. And we begin our journey here. So to begin with, I think I'm just going to make a script that holds all the variables and functions for all the meter-related stuff. And after that, it'll just be about implementing the functionality and such. So let's just get straight to that. Alrighty, so I just finished up the uh, the basic implementation, so I have some UI set up and I have all the functions and stuff done and all the functions are being called where they need to be called from. So yeah, that is that is about it. It took a long time to set up, more so just because it's a lot of busy work. Go ahead and test it and see if, uh, if I need to fix anything. Alrighty, so I went ahead, fixed some bugs, got things working now. So if I go ahead and attack, if I just land normal attacks, my HP meter goes up. And if I get hit, that'll lower it, but it'll increase my attack meter. And at the end of this turn, I should get passive gain for both HP and defense. Tolerance doesn't get a passive gain right now because I already have one death blur. Anyways, if I go ahead and score a critical attack or two, that should raise my attack uh, above. And I kind of messed up there because I probably shouldn't have killed it. But point being is that filled the meter out and would have raised my attack. Uh, <laughs> 
I mean, I, I don't really know how to, like, show this in an interesting way, because it's like, the battle system itself is kind of slow. Uh, just trust me, it works. Everything is doing what it's supposed to do now. So now, as you play the game, you get, like, stat changes if you do certain things. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, that, that is it. I, I cut to the outro. No more. No more video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in trying the game out for yourself, you can check out the demo on Steam right now. There'll be a link in the description and in the comments. Anyways, that's all for this week. I'll see y'all later.